Hi everyone, it's Sarah from Plan Sarah Plan, and today we're gonna unbox the Spring 2022 Seasonal Surprise Box from Erin Condren. My box arrived in great shape because I did order one additional item. I did have to pay shipping, but what that meant was that the additional item and the surprise box were housed inside of a standard Erin Condren shipping box, and that way there are no Sharpie marks or postage labels on the box and I can leave it this way or I can turn it inside out since all of these are reversible. So when this box arrived, I did look inside, but I did not open all the packaging inside. So I'm really going to experience it a little bit more now as we go through this today together. So inside it says, may the beauty of your day take your breath away. And you have a lovely flora design here. This is rose gold foiling. And then every surprise box comes with a card that describes what's inside and tells you which items are exclusive and which ones are sneak peeks. We're gonna set that aside for now and just experience one thing at a time. Here is what the box looks like underneath all of the items. I just wanted to show you that before I take this off camera. And all you have to do to turn this box inside out is kind of use a letter opener or a, like a butter knife or something like that to kind of push these little tabs through on the outside. And then this will unfold and you just put the whole thing back together in reverse. But since I ordered this with another item and it's nice and pretty like this, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to leave it like this. Let's start with this lunch tote because this was one of the sneak peeks that we got before we um, before the box is sold out. So you could get a taste of what is going to be inside the box. I really thought this was cute and on closer inspection now, it appears to me to be very well made. So. It opens with Velcro, and this is all stitched on. It's not just glued on. And then you've got stitching here. And so if you want to know, you know, what sort of quality this item is, hopefully you can tell a bit from these angles. So the idea with this is that it actually comes all apart with either snaps or Velcro. So we're gonna figure that out. Here's the base of it, and it has kind of a triangular shape when it's closed at the top, and then these two handles. Then when you open it up, let's see if we can make it do like the sneak peek did. Inside, it looks like sort of um, a, an insulated inside. It is kind of thick. It's probably just this outer material and this inner material. I don't think there's anything padded inside, but you can see the little snowflakes. So this is intended to keep your cold things cold, I think. All right, so to take this apart, we pull that Velcro, Velcro on all four sides, <clears throat> and then there's a snap there. Okay, so let me zoom out. This is pretty large, actually. I would say this is a good, 30 inches across, just estimating, and probably 30 inches across this way. So I guess the good thing about being able to open it up is that you can wipe it clean. You can really get it clean. Um, but I don't think you would have to do this, but let's say that you were at work or on a picnic or something and you wanted to have a nice surface on the table because whatever table you're at isn't very clean. So it's very handy for that. And then to put it back together, let's see, <clears throat> it looks like, this will work, pull up the sides, and then let's Velcro them. These snaps, we'll, we'll save that. I'm not really sure about the snaps because all I had to undo was Velcro to get that to open, and one there was one snap done. So, it's pretty easy to get the Velcro together. This does not feel cheap. This feels well-made. This feels like a nice, lunch tote. I don't own any other lunch totes, so I can't compare them to others. Um, but here are the snaps. So can you see that? I'm just going to, if you don't want these things to flap around, I guess that's what the snaps are for. So let's see if it can be snap. Yep, that snaps and this snaps. Okay, 
So that way you don't have as much of this flip floppy around in there. And then to close it, you just do this. So there it is. And I would think that this is about 12 inches right here. So these, these edges are about 12 inches. I'm just estimating this is about six-ish inches. And the handles are, you know, folded over fabric. It's not just a single layer, it's a double layer of that fabric and it is sewn. To me, this looks like a high quality item. I am pleased with this one. So let's go on to the next thing. Another lifestyle item as opposed to a planner item. This looks to be a straw, a reusable straw, and it's got like a flora patch, pouch, not patch, pouch. So let's get this out. The pouch has some cardboard in it. Let's take that out. Okay, so it's a pretty thin pouch. This feels like the sleeve that you would find on an umbrella. Okay, so this is really nothing special other than it is flora. And it's got a drawstring to it. So it's cute. And then here we've got a straw and it looks like a cleaning brush. So the straw is rose gold. It's got an Erin Condren asterisk on it. And I'm gonna, you just do this to clean the straw. And let's just put these in here. I wonder if this straw is tall enough to work with the swell bottles from Erin Condren. I'm gonna say it isn't because my I use my swell bottles a lot. I think the swell bottle probably comes out to about here, so I'm gonna say no on that. It does not work with the swell bottles. That would have been pretty cool if it did work with the swell bottles. Um, it fits in here, so this is just a nice item that you can put with your lunch tote. There you go. So those two go together really well. This one's like a lavender color, the other one's blue, but they're both flora and they're both kind of, you know, geared toward lunch. Here's another item that we did get a sneak peek of. We didn't see the whole thing, but we saw this little tray, which is cork. And now that I'm feeling it, it is very flexible. It's not like a stiff cork, but that is cork on the outside. So this is a tray. It says ballpoint pen and valet tray. So let's take this apart. Check it out. So this is just um, something to keep the structure intact. It's just packaging. And then you've got snaps here. I don't know if we're meant to open these snaps, but let's do it just to see. So this side is a wipeable kind of glossy vegan leather look. Not super glossy. I'm a little bit afraid to pull this because the snaps are really strong. And well, that one came right open, but this one, I'm not going to push that open or pull that open because I'm afraid it might, you know, rip away from the material. But really, I think that's just a fashion thing. These could have been just faux snaps. I'm not really sure why you want to open it up. If you know why a person would want to open that up, tell me. So this is just a tray. That's all it is. And it's something that you could take with you. It's not like you know, going to break. So you could pack it if you wanted to take it to a hotel room and you wanted to have a little tray to put your um, items in, that's cute like that. But if you wanted to have a tray to put things on your nightstand at a hotel room, earplugs, medication, or, or like your jewelry at night, you could use it for that. It's cute. So cork on this side and kind of a pink vegan leather on this side. This vegan leather reminds me of the folio that's not the um, A5 Agenda, but the other folio that you can put a planner or a notebook in from Erin Condren. It's a lightweight kind of a vegan leather right there. Okay, so the pen, it's interesting because it's flora. You can see the flora design. It sort of looks like it's wood. I guess it is wood. At first I thought it was like, paper like that eco-friendly gift set that had the pen in it that was a ballpoint pen and I thought this part was just paper. This one I think is wood. So here's the pen. I like the gold on it. It feels great. I mean it's not super heavy but this lid 
think the lid is as heavy as this whole pen. So let's see what it looks like when you write with it. But I just want you to see the outline of the flora design up here on the barrel. And it does nest, so that's nice. I like to be able to put that lid on the bottom. And it's not a screw-off lid like the gold pen that's on the Erin Condren website, which is one of my favorite pens, by the way. That one is super heavy and luxurious. This one is kind of like less luxurious, slightly more practical because it just pops off. Okay, so let me grab a piece of paper and we will test it. And there is a piece of paper in the box. So this is a notepad set. set. It does not say sticky notes, so I'm thinking it's just notepads. And let's get into this. Okay, here are the notepads. And there's sort of a watercolor brush stroke at the top of this one, and it's lined. Another watercolor brush stroke at the top of this, and it's more of like a blush color. And that's all it is. It's just a notepad. The paper is kind of scratch paper. Um, it's not super thick or anything. It's not like mohawk paper, as far as I can tell. And the backing on it is really nice. So this is a thick backing. Look right here. This is a piece of cardboard. So if you wanted to hold this and write, this is going to be a nice writing surface, even away from your desk. And same thing here, just as thick on the back of this one. So these are neat. So let's zoom in and test this ballpoint pen. Okay. It writes fine and it works um, kind of like a roller ball. So to me, this ink looks a little bit darker than just plain ballpoint pen ink. Yeah, it feels good. This is a nice pen, I like it. Let's see if it smudges. A little bit, actually. So it is kind of inky. I mean, that's, it's not really a smudge. It's just you can sort of see that it, let's say it bloomed a little bit when I did this. Let's let it dry a little bit longer. Okay, so we're gonna just let that dry for a second and then we'll do a smudge test. I think this is inkier than your regular ballpoint pens. I, I mean, I would be tempted to call it a rollerball, not a gel really, um, but a rollerball. I, I like that this is wooden. I think when I first looked inside the box before I really dug in, I thought it was paper, but now upon closer inspection, this looks like it's wood to me. And I bet the little insert is gonna tell us. Okay, so let's set these aside, come back to that. The next item is this little three pack of bookmarks. So there are pastel productivity page markers. I think these are cute. They're in flora uh, colors and they're metal. You get today to do and an asterisk. I think these are cute. Super cute, actually. Let's try it on a piece of paper. Yeah, fits nicely on one piece of paper. Doesn't fall off of that. Let's see how many sheets of this paper. Two, works fine. Three, is a little stiff. Four, maybe you don't push it all the way on if you do four pieces, but it's nice. I think it's nice that it'll stay on just one piece. So there you go. That's really cute. I would like to use this in my in both of my planners, my A5 agenda and my weekly planner. I think that would be nice. Maybe I can put the asterisk on one of them and then put the today on the other one. And then this one is a to-do. So this would be great in a notebook uh, maybe in a budget planner or a goal planner. Or you could just ignore what it says and use use it for anything. Those are super cute. All right, so let's do the smudge test. That time, no smudging. So if you just let it dry a teeny bit, not going to smudge. And I'm pushing really hard. No smudging. Okay. So I like this, I like this, this, eh, 
so so I mean it's cute but I would not buy this by itself I would not buy it I think I might buy this and I think I might buy these pads I think I might buy these all right we'll set this aside and feels like it's one or two sheets it's two sheets okay so this is a rose gold embellished flora sheet I like this better than the puffy stickers we got before. The puffy stickers to me are not practical. I don't like puffy stickers. These are washi. These are washi stickers. These are much better in my opinion. I think these are beautiful. These would look great in a daily planner where you have that nice big space at the bottom of the page or on stationery. These are functional stickers, so they have a flora embellishment on them. So these are just like event stickers. You could just write your, doc your doctor's appointment, whatever it is, your meeting, some circles, more of these event stickers, check boxes. Then we have some headers that say weekend, weekend, weekend. And it's hard for me to read the flora font. I don't know about you, but this is important, important, important. This one is reminder, reminder, reminder and some more circles. So this is just a functional sheet. It's nice, so it's two pack of stickers. Set that aside, there's one more thing in the box, the sticky notes. So Erin um, Condren has been coming out with some really interesting looking sticky notes lately. But you've got like a half circle shape. And on the website, I did notice that they did some cute things with these, like they would put this right up against the edge of a paper. I thought that was cute, but the sticky part is here. So if you wanted to use it for a tab, it'll be slightly weird because this part will be hanging off. Sorry, I'm a little bit zo too zoomed in. This part will be hanging off, but I think it's cute to put it up against the edge of the page or up at the top, like a little header at the top of your page. I think that's cute. And then the circle one is just a big old circle sticky note, I think. Now, how to get that off, I think I do have to separate them, honestly. Okay, so this still has, that's a backer. No, that's one of the sticky notes. So, tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take that glue dot and stick it on the back of this the opposite way, like that. Or maybe that's how it was, I don't even remember. Okay, so half circles there, and then that way the glue dot is off of this. And it looks like about a third of the page, or a third of the sheet, is sticky. Just a straightforward sticky note. This is orange, and this is light orange or peach. And they just look cute together. There you go. Okay, so here is everything that was in the box, and now we'll pull out the card and see what value they placed on each of these items, because you know it's supposed to be $80 or more worth of products. So let's see what they say, and then you and I will chime in and see if we agree. Here are some of the, I don't know, illustrations of how you might use these on the back of the card. Okay, so the Flora Sticker Pack Duo is an exclusive, so you will not be able to get these. They valued those at $650. I think that's on par with what they would ask on the website, so that's check. The Lunch Tote is an exclusive, and they value this at $18.50. Um, I think that is a little bit high, but because it is Flora, and you know you can't really get a flora design at Walmart or at Target, that bumps up the value a little bit. So I would say if this were not an Erin Condren, just on the value of the bag itself or the, the quality of the bag itself, I would place this at an estimate of between $9.99 and $12.99. And so the fact that it's flora, it's an Erin Condren exclusive, I guess that's how they can justify saying $18.50. The sticky notepad set, $6.50. I think that is overpriced because this is all you get. I think that's overpriced. These are not post-its. Like some of them have been, we, we had one set, gift with purchase set that was actual post-it brand. I would value this at about $2.50. So I, I do think that's overpriced. 
portable reusable straw kit, $10.50. I think that's overpriced also. I would say $4, $4.50 on this. It's cute. And I mean, if I if I'm just ignoring the fact that it's flora, I think four dollars. The fact that it's Flora and it's Erin Condren and you can't get this design anywhere else does take the value up a little bit. I don't know if it takes it up as high as $10.50 now. And then the ballpoint pen and valet tray. They say this combo is $20. Um, I would say the pen is worth um, $10. I would probably pay $10 for this, but again, it does have Flora on it. So we'll give them another $2 for that. So let's say $12 for this pen. And then I would say this has no flora on it. So this is just cork and vegan leather and some cute gold hardware snaps on it. I would say this is worth $2. So I don't think this combo is, is quite worth 20. So I think that they've overshot it on that one also. Then on the notepad set, this is an exclusive and it, so you can't get this. This is a sneak peek, by the way. So you will be able to get this. That's the first thing that was a sneak peek. Um, actually, there are only two things that are gonna be sneak peeks. All right, the notepad set, they valued at $12. I think the backing on it would warrant that sort of a price, but I think that the you need a third pad. You need a third pad or something else to make this worth $12, in my opinion. A third pad, maybe I would pay $12. The backing is what is really great about these. And then the pastel productivity page markers. These are valued at $6.50. Um, I think that's a little bit high also, but you know, we're talking about Erin Condren. So <laughs> nothing is like a low price at Erin Condren. Um, these are in the Flora colors and they do have the Erin Condren font and the asterisk. So we'll give them just a little bit of extra value for that part of it. But I think these are, and these are a sneak peek by the way, so you will be able to get these. I really like them. I really like them. Um, I think if this were an Etsy seller, I might say 650 is right, you know, cause you're a super small business, but for Erin Condren, I think they could offer these for 450, honestly. Okay, so is it worth $40 to me? Like they say, it's got an $80 plus value um, and plus free shipping unless you do what I did, which was to order another item. Then you have to pay for your shipping. Let me just kind of quickly figure out what I would pay for all of this stuff. This, I'd say $12 is as high as I would go. So 12 plus 4, 16 plus... I would probably pay five bucks for this just because these are cute and I'll use them a lot. So we had 16 plus five, 21. And then this, I would pay 10 to 12. So we'll, we'll give them 12. $12 for this. So we're up to $33. And this, I probably wouldn't buy this, but if I were going to buy this, $2. So now we're up to 35 and 35 up to $2, honestly, $2 is what I would pay for this. So 35 plus two, 37. So we're reaching 40. And then these, the Flora pads, they are really cute. I like the backing. Um, I'm gonna say $5, $5. So that takes us up to 42. And then these are Erin Condren sticker sheets. Um, would I buy these if they were on the website? I think I might buy this one. I don't know if I would buy this one, although it's really cute. I could, you know, maybe do one weekly spread with this or something. Maybe, I think I could do one weekly spread with that. But let's just say that these are fairly priced. Um, I personally would like them to be priced at about 450 but this is pretty typical, 650. So if we were on, I can't remember what we were on. Let's say it was 42, that takes us up to 40. If if this is a fair price, I'm gonna say what I wanna pay, 450. So 42 plus 450, 46.50. Okay, so I value this at 46.50, honestly. 
That's being pretty brutal though. And so I did get my money's worth. That's the bottom line. I got my money's worth. I don't hate any of this stuff. My least favorite is probably this. And this is, you just watch, this is gonna be somebody else's all time favorite or just at least their favorite from this box. But everything else, even the straw, I mean, it's weird, but I think I would like that. I just like these together. I like these together. So for those meetings where you need to bring a lunch, sometimes I judge a piano festival and they say bring a lunch because it's gonna go many hours. This will be great for that. So yeah, I like that. I like this. I love these little, these little things. Love these. These I think are cute. Um, the notepads are my favorite between this and this, I think. And then the stickers are pretty, especially the flora sheet. So I'm happy all in all. I don't feel like I was ripped off at all. I don't think it's an $80 value. Um, however, it's, uh, it's over $40 value in my opinion. So that's it. So tell me what you think. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Um, if you are not a person who ever likes the seasonal surprise boxes, you're probably not going to be happy. I pretty much know what I'm going to, like, I count on liking some of the things, but not all of the things, or I wouldn't even get one. I was not given this one. I am an Erin Condren affiliate, but I did have to purchase this one. There have been boxes in the past where I reviewed them and I did not have to pay for them. I still gave my honest opinion. Um, this is my honest opinion, but I just wanted you to know I did pay for this box and I paid for shipping because I wanted this to arrive in pristine condition. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this review of the spring seasonal surprise box from Erin Condren, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.